Hi, and welcome to lesson four of the linear theory curriculum for classical guitar and piano. Uh, today's lesson is about a couple of new scales that grow from the major scale. Uh, we're going to learn three different forms of the minor scale as well as the chromatic scale. So let's begin with the minor scale, and to do that, I, I like to start back with our major scale. You'll recall that our major scale was the pattern, let me write this, was the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, the natural minor scale grows from the sixth step of the major scale, and it goes from the sixth step to the sixth. So if I do six, seven, one, and eight are the same, and then two, three, four, five, six, this will give me my pattern for the natural minor scale. From six to seven is a whole step, seven to eight, or seven to one is a half, then whole, whole, half, whole, whole. So the pattern for the natural minor scale, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Now you should definitely memorize that pattern, but if you ever forget that pattern, just remember it's six to six in the, in the major scale, which you already know, all right? So there's our natural minor scale. And then what I usually do is then change it to in minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. So hopefully that makes sense and you understand where we are, okay? Now, after we uh, understand what the minor, natural minor scale is, then we go to the harmonic minor scale, and the harmonic minor scale is the exact same thing as the natural minor, except the seventh step of the scale is raised by a half step. So, one to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is all the same, whole, half, whole, whole, half. Now, the seventh is raised, so this ends up being a step and a half, one and a half steps. And then what that does is then makes the distance from seven to eight a half step. If we take this whole step and this whole step and we raise seven up a, up a half step, now it's just a half step from seven to eight and uh, six to seven is a step and a half, as indicated here on the harmonic. So that's the difference between a natural minor and a harmonic minor scale. So we've got that. Now let's uh, go ahead and show you the one other scale. So if we have, again, I'm going to rewrite the, the, the natural and harmonic. natural. Harmonic. Okay. Whole, half, whole whole half, one and a half, half. And then finally, the melodic minor, again, grows from the natural minor scale, and it is different going up the scale than it is coming back down. So going up the scale, it is, or ascending the scale, the first four are the same, whole, half, whole, whole, then the sixth is a half step higher than the natural, so this becomes whole. The seventh is a half step higher than the natural, so that makes that a whole step. 
and then a half step to eight. So whole half whole, whole 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 half. Then coming down, it reverts back to the natural minor. In other words, it's eight to seven whole step. Notice here, eight to seven is a whole step. Seven to six, whole step and then six to five, like this, half step. So, and then it's the same, four, three, two, one are the same. So going up, whole, half, whole, 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 half, going back down, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole. So the melodic is different going up than it is going down. A little bit tricky, so you want to pay really close attention when you're doing the uh, uh, natural harmonic and melodic minors. The other scale that we will be dealing with in this lesson is the chromatic scale, and it's kind of simple. The chromatic scale is all half steps. So it really takes every single um, pitch that you have, let's say from C, and it asks you to go from C to C representing all half steps. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and then that gets us back to C. And you'll notice there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different pitches before you arrive back at the original pitch. Okay? Now, I have a little rule. I call it Laird's rule. And that is, when you're doing a chromatic scale going up the scale, use sharps. When you're doing a chromatic scale going down the scale, use flats. So if we're going back down, it would be C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, and then finally you would arrive back at C. And that would be a good representation of a C chromatic scale ascending with sharps and descending with flats. I want to be clear, Laird's rule is simply my rule. It's just a rule that helps keep chromatics very clean, crisp, and clear. Um, you wouldn't have to do it that way, but I find that to be the way that I can make sure that you know all of your sharps and flats also. And while we're on that topic, I always in this lesson like to mention another little um, precept that is good to know. Um, Cole's law is Cole's law is thinly sliced cabbage coleslaw, thinly sliced cabbage. I hope you enjoy that. That always gets a little groan from most of my students. With that in mind, let's go to the lesson. I can hear the crickets chirping right now. If we go to the lesson, it's pretty straightforward. I want you to do an A-flat natural harmonic and melodic minor scale, F natural harmonic and melodic minor scale, and a D, natural, melodic, and harmonic minor scale. Let's do one of them together just to make sure that you guys are on the same page with me. Here's what I recommend you do. Start by writing the letter names of the natural. Uh, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Whole step, past, half step pattern. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Put in your sharps and flats. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half. F to G is a whole. G to A is a whole. A to B flat is a half. 
B flat to C is a whole and C to D. And you really, for you to do it, you should be looking at a keyboard to do that. Then we go ahead and write it in. So we've got D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. All right? Then, once we have that, then we're going to go ahead and do the natural minor below. I think just in the interest of space, or excuse me, the harmonic minor, it asks for the last four notes. Well, the last four notes of the natural, A, B flat, C, and D, and really all we're doing for the harmonic is making the seventh step higher, A, B flat, C sharp, and D. And then the ascending and descending, in fact, let's just forget about um, this for now. Let's just make this a treble clef, just so you can see this. And the ascending and descending for the melodic, for the um, last four notes, again, A, B flat, C, and D were what we had for the natural. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to lose that flat, and we're going to make that B, B natural, and we're going to make the C, C sharp, going up, and then coming back down, that C becomes C natural, and the B becomes B flat again, and we go back to A. So these notes coming back down are exactly the same as the natural minor. These ones, from the natural minor, the sixth step was raised, and the seventh step was raised, each a half step. And that takes care of the minor scales. And then lastly, it asks you to write two different chromatic scales in both clefs, ascending and descending. When you do this, you know, choose uh, any particular note. Here we might have A. And again, remember to use your sharps ascending and flats descending. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and then going down, A, A flat, G, G flat, etc., and go all the way back down. Then choose another to tonic, make B, C, D, doesn't matter, some other note, and go up and down from it as well. And that should take care of this lesson, lesson four of linear theory.